Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. It's good to see Cohere for AI active again. In the last two weeks, this is the second model which I am going to cover on the channel. Previously, I covered this Aya Vision 8 billion and then in the last one year, I have covered heaps of models from them and I don't think so there is any model I haven't covered from Cohere. And if you're interested in learning more about their models, just go to their website and check it out and then you can watch the hands-on local installation or testing videos on the channel depending upon the size of the model. Just a few hours ago, they have released yet another model which is called as C4AI Command A. This Command A is an open weight research model developed by collaboratively by Cohere and Cohere for AI. It features 111 billion parameters and is optimized specifically for enterprises seeking fast, secure and high quality artificial intelligence performance. The license is not Apache 2 by the way, it is a commercial license which you can check on their model card and I will drop the link to it in video's description. Distinguished by its balance of high capability and resource efficiency, Command A requires minimal hardware being deployed on just two GPUs, thereby reducing operational costs significantly compared to other leading proprietary and open weight models. This auto-regressive language model utilizes an optimized transformer architecture and also leverages supervised fine-tuning along with preference-based alignment training to ensure outputs align closely with the human preferences in terms of helpfulness and safety. Architecturally, the Command A model incorporates three layers utilizing sliding window attention mechanism, each with window sizes of 4096 tokens combined with rotary position embedding to effectively capture local context and relative positions. A fourth layer features global attention with no positional embeddings that allows for unrestricted token interactions across extensive supported context lengths of up to 256k tokens. The model was trained comprehensively across 23 languages and this is interesting because for a long time now Cohere is stuck on 23 languages. They are not increasing and they are all the same languages uh, English, French, Spanish, German, Chinese, Japanese, Arabic and few more which you can check out on the model card. So maybe they are just uh, improving their actual existing data set on these languages. Anyway, so it offers quite robust multilingual capabilities and that is a hallmark of almost all the Cohere models that they are pretty good in multilinguality. Inputs and outputs for this model are text only, making it ideally suited for diverse multilingual and business critical agentic tasks under its provision license, which I said is commercial CCYNC. And you also need to follow their acceptable usage policy. So this is a quick introduction of this model and I'm not going to install it locally because it's a big model require a couple of GPUs. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go to their hugging face space and we will test out this model on few of the prompts to see how it works. Okay, I have made it a bit bigger so that we would know what is happening. So first up, I'm going to check the language and cultural nuances. So I am asking it, what does the Irish phrase crack mean when people say crack was a mighty? Uh, I think I'm not pronouncing it right. So if you are an, if you're an Irish, please correct me. So let's see what the answer is here. Wow. So it says the Irish phrase crack Okay, crack. So it has given us a pronunciation for um, the ignorance like me. So it says it, it is pronounced at crack. So the Irish phrase crack is a term that has evolved over time and is deeply embedded in Irish culture. When someone says the crack was mighty, they're essentially saying that the atmosphere, fun, conversation and overall experience was excellent or exceptional. I'm going to use this phrase. This is, seems so cool. So it is telling us about its origin, modern usage, examples, we had great crack at the pub last night, cultural significance, there you go. So you see, they're expressing this. So I would say it's a very comprehensive answer to the point and I think it has done it wonderfully well. Okay, let's check out another one. 
In this one, I'm asking it in Japanese. People often say shogunai in tough situation. Does this mean they are giving up or just accepting reality calmly? There you go. So it's a, it's a nuanced expression. That is, I'm, I was checking. That reflects a deep cultural attitude towards adversity and situation beyond one's control. It doesn't necessarily imply giving up, but rather a calm, pragmatic acceptance of reality. Seems so stoic to me. So literal meaning is this, cultural context, usage in tough situation, pragmatism. So for example, if a train is delayed, someone might say shogunai and then proceed to find a way to pass the time or adjust their plans. That's cool. I mean, just like I keep asking you guys to subscribe to the channel. If you don't, all I can say is shogunai. And then this one is also quite good. Emotional tone. That's nice. Contrast with giving up. So look, really, really good answer by the model, I would say. Now, these Cohere models are primarily geared towards multilinguality and language and cultural nuances. In my experience, they don't say it. But let's check out uh, a math and a coding question. So for the math one, I'm asking it to provide me the smallest positive integer that leaves a remainder of 3 when divided by 7, a remainder of 4 when divided by 9. Let's see. There you go. That's nice. I think math has improved a lot. There you go. So the answer is totally spot on. And now let's check out a coding question. For coding one, I'm asking you to write me a Python function that computes the Ackerman function efficiently enough to handle Ackerman without causing maximum recursion depth issues. Let's check it out. There you go. So in a very, very fine way, it is first um, explaining what is Ackerman function, that it is a recursive function that grows very rapidly. And yes, that is true. It is going to cause this. And there you go. So it is using the memorization. Very nice. So this is what I was expecting. And look at the code. I think uh, they have done wonderfully well. And I believe they are using some sort of decorators here. Great stuff. And it, it is explaining the code which it has created. And it says why it works without this. Ackerman function would compute the same values repeatedly. And this is the output. And it is also explaining the whole synopsis of the code. So look, I think. They have improved the coding a lot in this one. And now let's do a quick multilinguality test. So I'm going to give it 25 languages and I'll ask it to translate this sentence. Life is short, dream big. And then we will check it out. Some of the languages are mentioned by them and some of them are not. So let's check it out. And of course, please help me out if you are the native speaker of these languages if it has done the good job or not. I will also check it few of them in the Google Translate to make sure. So I have checked few of them in the Google Translate and as far as I can see, Spanish looks good, French looks good, German looks good, Chinese, I'm not sure, I don't think so. Japanese, Russian, Arabic, they look good. Hindi looks good. Jeevan Chota Hai Bada Sapna Dekho. This is good, I guess. Portuguese looks good. Italian looks good. Korean looks good. Turkish, I don't think so, as per Google Translate. Dutch, Swedish, Greek, Polish, all good. Ukrainian, good. And then Indonesian, I think it is okay. Hebrew, <coughs> sorry, Hebrew it looks good. And what a beautiful script, really. Finnish looks good. Norwegian looks good, Czech looks good, Hungarian looks good, Thai, I don't think so. Script is beautiful again. Um, so please, if you are a Thai speaker, let me know. Swahili is also not good and Swahili is a tough one. Most of the models get it wrong anyway. So, but you see multilinguality is most of it is correct. And as usual, Cohere rocks when it comes to or multiple languages anyway pretty good model i would say i wish i could get it installed locally but well i don't have the multi gpu cluster at the moment but we already have tested it looks really good um, check it out let me know what do you think about this and before i let you go let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agents 
with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.